Hello kids, are you ready for our lesson today? We have a grammar lesson on prepositions. Now let's find out what are prepositions. The date is 14th April 2020 and our objectives for today's lesson are to identify prepositions in sentences, to identify prepositional phrases and their objects and to understand the usage of prepositional phrases. Now let's dive into our warm-up section. We have a game today and the name of the game is Where is the Baby? Now we need to figure out the movements of these little, little babies as they move around or into or on or wherever they're going to planning to move around in this toy tunnel, right? And you need to be quick because the sand clocks will start moving and counting the seconds. So are you ready? Let's get started. So, where is the baby going to move now? Let's see. The baby just went. Where did the baby go? It went through the tunnel. Good job. Did you guess that right? All right, let's see now again. What about this baby? Where is the baby? Is he outside? Is he on? He is inside the toy tunnel. Amazing. Now, let's keep going and find out what they're going to do next. Now this one is right, where is it? It's behind or is it on? Where is it? It's in front of the toy tunnel. Excellent. Let's check out. What about this little cutie? Where is this baby? There are two toy tunnels now and the baby is in between. The baby is right in between the toy tunnels. Good job. Excellent. Let's move on. What are prepositions? This is the topic of today's lesson. Prepositions. Now look at the word carefully. What do you notice? You see prepositions. Prepositions. You see the word position right here in this big word? Yes. So it is talking something about positions too, right? Now let's see how that connects to our lesson. Prepositions are words which show the relationship between words and a noun or a pronoun. So remember that, that they are here to show relationships between words and a noun or a pronoun. We already know what's a noun, naming word, and a pronoun is the word that takes place of a noun. They are connecting words. So they act like glue sticks. They are the glue words that help to connect the words. You see this group of people here, the group of people on this side. Imagine these are group. This is a group of words and here you have nouns and pronouns. And right in the middle you have the preposition. And he's going to connect this group of words to a noun or a pronoun. So he is also a connecting word. Mr. Preposition has an important job. Now let's see what else prepositions do by looking through some of the examples. You see? These are the same images that we saw in our warm-up section. Do you remember? Yes. Remember I told you positions? So most of our basic prepositions are words which show position. They answer the question where. Look at the first image. Through. So the baby is going through the toy tunnel. So true is a preposition. Next, between. Between is yet another preposition which also shows you where something is placed. Then we have another baby here right beside or near a toy tunnel. And here there's one over or you can say on the toy tunnel. Yet another one in front of. Here, inside or you can say in and another one behind. So all these words are our basic set of prepositions, but we have many more. Then these ones only talk about the relationship concerning the location or the position. Now let's see other examples. These are other common prepositions like about, before, then we have except. Now how can we use except in a sentence? How can we use it as a preposition to show some sort of relationship? Let's check out. I like all colors except brown. 
So it means I like every other color except for brown. So you see, I have a group of words here, I like all colors. And then I have a noun here that is the naming word for the color brown. And I have this connecting word which shows what sort of a relationship I have with these words and this noun showing that apart from all other colors this is the one I don't like except meaning you're keeping it out you're saying out of the circle except for this I like everything else now let's check the other words near as I just said in the Example with the baby, the baby is near the toy tunnel, so near is a preposition talking about the relationship that talks about location, position. Then we have over, upon, across, below, far, and you have off. Now how do we use off as a preposition? This is a picture of my cat. So you see, this is a picture, that's a group of words, this is a picture. And then you have the noun cat, my cat. And we have the connecting word of. The picture is whose, my cat. So of my cat. Of is a glue word, a connecting word, the preposition. Then we have through, the baby went through, with, after, between, from, on, to, around, by. How can I use by in a sentence? Remove the weeds growing by the fence. Again, this is another preposition which talks about position, talks about location. Remove the weeds. You all know what's a weed. We discussed this earlier, remember? When we were learning the lesson, a weed is also a flower. Yes. Remove the weeds growing by the fence. By means near. It's next to the fence. So I'm connecting this group of words, remove the weeds growing, to the noun fence by using this connecting word called the preposition. And what's the preposition here? By. All right. Next we have in, onto, under, at, during, into, out, and we have until. I will read a book until dinner, showing till this time. So I will read a book, this is a group of words, and I'm connecting it to the noun dinner, okay, a meal time. So until tells you till this time, and this is a preposition. Now let's find out by going through some examples. Let's understand our prepositions better. Let's get friendly with them. Okay, look at this image. What do you see? You see some kids who are reading, so the kids are reading. This is one idea that you see in this image. Then, what else do you see in the image? You see the naming word for this huge thing. What is it? It's a tree. So the kids are reading and the noun is the tree. So now you can try and think about how can we connect this to the tree. We need to find a connecting word. We need to find a preposition to glue them together in a sentence. So what's the preposition we can use? Under. Yes, correct. The kids are reading under the tree. So under is our Mr. Preposition. Yes, he comes to rescue these groups of words and the noun by connecting them together and making them one big sentence. All right, let's move on. Now, here you have a kitchen and there's mommy who has baked cupcakes. So mom baked cupcakes. And where did she bake them? Where? So what's the answer? The oven. But how am I going to link this group of words, mom baked cupcakes, to the noun oven? I need to connect them by using a connecting word. And that's it. Which one is it? In. Mom baked cupcakes in the oven. So in is our preposition. Excellent. Let's move on. What do you see here? It's a beautiful donut shop. And Judy is standing. Here we have the donut shop. How do I connect these two ideas together? Because in the image you see, they are all in it together. So how do I connect them? I need to connect them by using a preposition. So near. Judy is standing near the donut shop. Near is our preposition. Amazing. Now you're getting good at it. Now you understand how the group of words is getting connected to a noun or a pronoun. 
Now let's move on and see if we can do this. Susie came to the fun fair. Susie came to the fun fair. And the other word is her sister. Here's your noun and here's the possessive pronoun, her. So her sister. How do we connect these together? We need to connect them by using a preposition. So Susie came to the fun fair. What do I use here? With. Susie came to the fun fair with her sister. So this excellent connecting word was the glue and it is our preposition. Now let's understand what's a prepositional phrase. Now you know prepositional meaning something to do with a preposition. We already understood what's a preposition. It's the connecting word. And what's a phrase? A phrase is a group of words which is not a complete sentence. A phrase is just a group of words. And if I say prepositional phrase, it implies that this phrase should have a preposition in it. Okay? A prepositional phrase starts with a preposition and it ends with a noun or a pronoun. So this is the rule that we're going to follow. That always if we need to find out where's the prepositional phrase, you first look for the preposition because the prepositional phrase starts with the preposition and it has to end with a noun or a pronoun. Next, keep in mind that the noun or the pronoun in the prepositional phrase is called the object of the preposition. What is it called? It's called the object of the preposition. Now let's see the examples down below. The first one says, the sun has gone behind the clouds. The sun has gone behind the clouds. The preposition is already highlighted for you here. The group of words, the sun has gone, is connected to this noun, the clouds, with the glue word, the preposition, behind. It shows the position. Where is it? It's behind. Now, where is the prepositional phrase? Remember, it has to start from behind and it has to stop at the noun or the pronoun. So, we will highlight this. And see, we started from behind and we stopped at the noun, the clouds. So this is a prepositional phrase, just a group of words, which starts with a preposition, ends with a noun. And what about this part? Which, which word do we call as the object of the preposition? Behind is the preposition. What is the object of the preposition? It's the noun, clouds. So we have a prepositional phrase and we have our object of the preposition that is clouds. Good job. Now let's see this example. The sky was cloudy during the day. During indicating t time. So the sky was cloudy during the day. Now this is a group of words. The sky was cloudy. Here you have your preposition trying to glue this group to the noun day. So, the sky was cloudy during the day. Now, where is a prepositional phrase? It has to start from the preposition and end with the noun. So, here is the prepositional phrase. And what about the object of the preposition? Remember, it is the noun or the pronoun. So, where is a noun? Year, day. So, that is the object of our preposition during. Well done. Let's go ahead. Now let's check out some more examples of prepositional phrases. Now, these ones will try and help you to get this idea clear so that you'll quickly be able to spot the prepositional phrases in any sentence. Okay? Let's start with the first one. Ali borrowed a new book from the library. So, let's see. Where do we have the first group of words? Ali borrowed a new book. And you have the noun, the library. Now, we have the connecting word from. So, do you think this is the preposition? Yes, that's a glue word. That's a connecting word. It's a preposition. Now, where is the prepositional phrase? Starting from. And then it has to end with the noun. So, here is our prepositional phrase. Excellent. Now, let's go to the second example. I brought a beautiful gift 
for my friend. First part of the sentence, I brought a beautiful gift. Now, this beautiful gift is for who? It is for my friend. So all my noun is right here at the end of the sentence, my friend. And where is a connecting word? It is for. That's a preposition. And where is a prepositional phrase? Right here, starting from for, ending at the noun. So yes, a prepositional phrase. Excellent. Come to number three. The birds flew around the treetops. The birds flew there around the treetops. And what about a preposition here? Which word is talking about the location of the birds? Indicating where? So that is around. That is a preposition. And the prepositional phrase is the one that starts from the preposition. So we underline from around till treetops. That is our ta -da, prepositional phrase. Here we go. Let's move on. Let's practice and you apply your skills right here. Okay? We played hopscotch in the garden. So we played hopscotch there in the garden. What is the preposition here? Which word is the preposition? It is in. Good job. What about the prepositional phrase? Start from the preposition, move on right till the noun. This is our prepositional phrase. Let's try it to find out in the next sentence. Tony stood quietly against the wall. All right? Tony stood quietly against the wall. Where did he stand? He stood against the wall. So what is a preposition here? It is against. Well done. And a prepositional phrase, did you figure it out? Yes, it starts from the preposition, ends with the noun. Against the wall. You're getting good at this. Third one. My uncle Majid is from Morocco. My uncle Majid is from Morocco. So where is a preposition? Let's see if you can spot it. Which one is it? Is it Majid? No, that's the name of a person. It's a noun. It's a proper noun. What about the rest of the sentence? Can you find the preposition from? Yes, that's a preposition. And starting from here till the noun, what do we call it? Prepositional phrase, right there, from Morocco. Next one, don't go into the dark forest. Don't go where? In, into the dark forest. So that's spooky, that's why we're not supposed to go there. All right, now tell me, where's the preposition? Did you figure it out? Again, answer the question where, and you might find out, because again here we have a preposition which talks about position. So it is into. And what about the prepositional phrase? Tell me, where is it? Where do we start from? We start from the preposition, and we stop at the noun. Very good. Next one, I love the smell of fresh flowers. I love the smell of fresh flowers. So, where is a preposition? Remember the list of prepositions? Do you figure one out here? Yes, it's off. I love the smell. What? Fresh flowers. And where is a connecting word? Off fresh flowers. And a prepositional phrase is off fresh flowers. Alice fell down the rabbit hole. Alice fell. Where did she fall down? She fell down the rabbit hole. So where is a preposition? Down. And the prepositional straight phrase starting from down, right to the rabbit hole, stopping at the noun. Very well. Now let's see if you can apply this in your notebook. So let's open page 511. And we will start doing this. Are you ready with your pencils? Get set. Come on. A preposition is the first word in a group of words called a prepositional phrase. Like, let's see what's the preposition here. Mama is cooking for the surprise party. Mama is cooking is the first set of words. And then we have the noun party, surprise party. So, tell me, where is the preposition? It's for. And prepositional phrase, we start from the preposition and stop at the noun. Okay, so Mama is cooking for the surprise party. Circle the preposition in each sentence. Now I want you to do the first part of the question and the next part you can do it by yourself. 
So the second part says say a new sentence using each preposition. Now let's go to number one. Cecilia smells beans bubbling on the stove. Cecilia smells beans bubbling. Where? Now figure out where is the preposition. You only have to circle the preposition. Okay? Number two. She drew a picture in the sand. She drew a picture where? Think about it. Where's the preposition? The word here again is talking about the position. Chica and I walk around the front yard. Where do we walk? Think about the preposition. Cecilia fills the living room with balloons. The first part of the sentence, the group of words, yes, Cecilia fills the living room and we have a noun here, balloons. So where is the preposition? Write the prepositional phrase in the sentence. You only have to rewrite in this line the prepositional phrase from this sentence. I like talking with my friends. I like talking. We have a group of words here. And the noun is friends. So where is the preposition? So you know you have to start from the preposition and stop at the noun. Now let's go ahead and open page 560 in our notebook. Write the date and let's start solving this one out. Underline the preposition in each sentence. I went to the store. I went to the store. So where is the preposition? You have to underline only the preposition. I bought streamers for the party. Streamers, that's a kind of party decoration. I bought streamers for the party. So where is a preposition? Underline it. We will decorate in the morning. Now here we have a preposition which indicates time. Which is the connecting word? Think about it. We will decorate and then we have the noun morning. So where is the connecting word? Where is the preposition? I'm getting help from my mom. I'm getting help from my mom. Mom is the noun and I'm getting help. So where is the preposition? Write the prepositional phrase in each sentence and then say each sentence with a different prepositional phrase. Again, the next half of this question, I want you to try and do it by yourself. Just as extra practice. It'll be good fun too. Okay, let's go to number five. Tia is my aunt from Mexico. Now, Tia is how you call aunt in Spanish. Tia is my aunt from Mexico. So where is a prepositional phrase? Remember to find your prepositional phrase. You need to spot your preposition first. And then underline and find a group of words right ending with a noun. Next one. I visit her after school. I visit her after school. So go ahead, write the prepositional phrase on these given lines. I like dancing with my family. I like dancing and then you have the noun here family. So where is the connecting word? Start from there to find your prepositional phrase and stop at the noun. I helped my mom in the kitchen. Again, start from the preposition and underline till the noun. So there you will find your prepositional phrase. Here is the noun kitchen. So where is the preposition? Think about it. And after you solve this, I want you to cross-check your answers, but only after you have done it all by yourself. What are the activities for today's lesson? We have notebook page 516. It'll be good practice and it's really, really simple. You'll be able to do it in a jiffy. Then I want you to write five sentences using prepositions. And then I want you to circle the preposition and underline the prepositional phrase. This is exactly the kind of practice we did today. So it's going to be easy. Just give me some fantastic sentences with prepositional phrases in them and circle the preposition and underline the prepositional phrase. And here there's a wonderful video that you can go ahead and enjoy. Just click on the link below. One link will explain what are prepositions and the second one is going to explain what are prepositional phrases. 
always believe that good things are going to happen and stay sweet. I know it's unhealthy to eat a lot of sweet things, but it's really, really healthy to be sweet all the time. So go ahead and keep doing that. Thank you for watching our video. Any questions and you can send me a message on Classera. So until next time, see you kids.